So if you want more detail on the rig that I'm doing, uh, I've done a video on how to make it. I'll put the link in the description. So yeah, you can go ahead and check that out if you want. Uh, this is the rig that I used everywhere and works consistently. All right, so yeah, that's just briefly what I'm using. Uh, so without any further ado, I'm going to switch over to land and show you how to find good fishing spots. Okay, so right now I'm just going to draw out the places that I go fishing and show you how to find uh, new locations based on the ones you already have or are going to find. Let's say this is the beach. So this is my launch point right there. Um, there's a whole bunch of like a boat sort of little marina place um, over here. The coastline is surrounded by a reef which sort of goes up and down along the top here. And there's little bottom fishing sort of all along. Um, there's sort of a natural uh, opening into the ocean. This is my number one fishing spot and after exploring a little bit I found there's some good fishing here and here you can go squid fishing there down here as well. I mean it can be difficult it's a huge ocean you can drop anywhere and be lucky or unlucky you know. Try around like big boats big objects uh, if there's a pier or a jetty try around there. Once you've found that spot like I did this there really is no need to um, put in all the effort to go around just randomly trying fishing. You can be a lot lazier and it can be a lot more effective. Basically, just piggyback off that spot. So I noticed that around here there were sort of sandy uh, sort of lines and patches um, under the water. And I thought, well, why not check it out? So that's where I went uh, today. And then I headed out to explore uh, this area. Um, it does take time, you have to find that first spot. It may take a little while, trial and error. Anyway, now I'm going to show you um, when you get to a spot, how to test it, how to see if there's good fishing, uh, see what the conditions are like and stuff like that. So that's that, back to the water. So here's the uh, sand strip that I was talking about earlier. I'm going to rig up with some prawns and stuff and then I'll show you how I, how I drop to test a new spot. Alright, this looks, this looks good, so I'm going to drop my uh, not really an anchor, anchor, on the side. Get it to the front of the boat. So the drift is quite fast, uh, this anchor I'm not really expecting it to hold me uh, very well. I just want it to sort of slow down my drift enough. So what you're going to want to do uh, to start off with is just to drop it straight down uh, in the area that you are. If I pull it and I feel like like it's biting when I pull, uh, that probably means I'm on sort of a rocky bottom. If it's smooth, usually sand. If it's getting snagged a lot, it's usually coral or weed. I'm getting some bites already. Maybe see if I can catch a small fish here. All right, there we go. That didn't take too long. Okay, look at that. That right there, guys, is actually quite a nice sized black dimsel fish, uh, I believe it's called. So yeah, uh, when you get bites on the first drop and catch a fish, usually means that the place you've selected is good for fishing. I can also tell what the fishing is like by looking at the fish that I catch there. Uh, this fish is often found around coral structures, uh, which means I'm probably in some kind of bed or garden of coral. I'm gonna let this guy go quickly. So uh, yeah, that's a good sign. Uh, once I know that there's no coral and stuff, then I'll cast straight out, not too far. The further I drift, the less accessible that spot will be. So I'll be able to cover more, uh, more ground and hopefully find the best spot for fishing. I'm just gonna cast it, not too far. Right out there should do. Um, if you don't get bites, you just wanna cast one, two, three, and then one behind you. And if you're still not getting fish then, it's a sign that the spot is probably not a good one, especially if you're getting snagged and that you should move on. Yep. All right, so uh, what has happened here is actually something that I'm quite glad has happened so I can show you what to do. The bait has landed right by the hole and the fish has probably just taken it and gone straight into its little hole. And so uh, I wanna show you how to solve this problem. Uh, so the first thing you wanna try and do is just like do this a little bit see if you can get it loose if that doesn't work you want to just tighten your drag a little bit and sort of let the location of this pull pull the boat slowly towards it i'm gonna pull the kayak with it yep and it's free and there you go guys 
uh, I lost my sinker and stuff but uh, by doing that I managed to get it out of the rock uh, so being snagged is a problem that you'll have a lot uh, during fishing and if you know how to deal with it it's no problem at all it's a nice little sergeant I think throw him back Alright guys, so that's it for today, uh, caught a whole bunch more fish uh, after I stopped filming, really effective, I'm definitely going to mark this spot as one of mine. Hopefully if you're struggling to catch fish, uh, these tips can help you catch more. Please say if you want me to do another video uh, like this, if you want me to describe, I don't know, what bait I'm using, the camera gear I'm using, I don't know, how to do stuff, I, I don't know, stuff like that. Just comment it below and uh, I'm pretty sure I can make it happen, so, and uh, I'll see you next time. Till then, tight lines.